Oh my god, this tripod. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So since it's been a few weeks since I was finally reminded of what sweet, sweet freedom felt like, aka I officially finished my undergraduate degree. Today I'm going to be filming a life update, you know, catch up with you guys because I feel like I haven't just sat down and chatted to you guys in a while, you know, the, honestly the last few months have just been so crazy. It just feels so nice to be able to have the time to just sit down and just do what I want now. As usual, I asked all you lovely people on Instagram to send in any questions you had surrounding, I guess, me finishing university and what my plans are for the summer and I guess post-grad. So thank you so much to everyone who sent in some questions. If you don't follow my Instagram and you'd like to send in questions for the next Q&A that I do, or alternatively would just like to see what I get up to during those moments that I'm not posting YouTube videos, my handle is at guycolleagueX go follow it and as always if you like the sound of today's little catch up cozy q a it would literally mean the world if you could go click that like button right now it honestly helps my channel a lot more than you realize for example by liking this video it helps share my content to new people and if you're new here hi my name is gaia and i'm a fourth year psychology and criminology student at nottingham trent university on this channel we do university advice student vlogs and lifestyle so there's something for everyone so it literally mean the world if you could that subscribe button as well. Other than that, I guess we better get in the Q&A. Get in the Q&A? Get into the Q&A. You can tell my brain is fried from uni. <laughs> oh. Also, please ignore the fact that my nails are so chipped. I don't even know how they've gotten this bad, you know, I literally only just painted them last week for Brack Ball and Grad Ball and they've already just gotten so chipped, but even though I don't have uni anymore, I feel like I'm still trying to get my shit together, so... <laughs> Please ignore my nails. Also, if you didn't watch the Brack vlog, I guess you went to see in that I have recently got my hair re-dyed, um, which is amazing. Like, you can see she put like loads of lovely um, caramel highlights um, underneath and I'm back to my natural shade, which is just amazing, you know. We love Brunette Gaia. Even though I will always love dyeing my hair different colours, Brunette Gaia is truly where it's at. Right, so the first question is, how are you finding freedom? I don't know how I'm finding freedom. Honestly, it feels so weird. Like, every person who asks me, how are you feeling now that uni's finished? I bet you're really excited to just relax. I'm just there telling all these people, like, I, I don't know, honestly, it feels so weird. I think it's been about two weeks, um, nearly three weeks this Friday, actually, since I submitted my last essay and I still can't believe I've finished. It just feels really bizarre. Like, I've literally been telling everyone that I speak to that I'm like, I keep thinking I've got some secret assignment waiting for me. I think because of the fact that I had this extension year, I had, you know, these three assignments pending waiting for me to finish them, that I just feel like I've still got them almost. And these thoughts were definitely strong when I submitted my last essay because I was like, okay, this is definitely the last thing I need to do, right? You know, there isn't anything more, okay? I don't know about you guys, but I feel like a lot of the time my head feels like it's got a million tabs open. Even like disregarding university, I have so many other things going on in my life and so many like to-dos, like my to-do list is never fully done. Like I feel like it's endless. I think that's why when I submitted my degree, I was like, is this it? <laughs> like, so yeah, freedom does feel weird. I just don't know what to do with myself. Even though there is that part of me that does, because like I said a second ago, my endless to-do list, that now that uni's done, I guess I have um, a bunch of things I need to get on with now regarding YouTube and I guess sorting out my masters and all the moving stuff and accommodation and oh my God. I've also had my internship that I've been doing along the side of uni. Basically, if I haven't explained it already, um, I started a four week micro digital internship into content creation, which was kindly funded by NTU. I actually started that in the last two weeks of my degree, you know, when I had all these big deadlines. And I know there was this part of me that was thinking, Gaia, is this a good idea? Like, you know, you love being productive, but have you gone too far this time? There definitely were moments where I was thinking, oh, I really should be focusing on my degree, uh, but I really want to do this internship. Thankfully, the people at Mindless, who are basically the people that run my internship, have just been amazing. They've just been so accommodating, knowing that those are students like myself are finishing their degree at this point, or are finishing assessments. Sorry, I feel like this is such a long-winded answer, but to answer your question, I'm finding freedom weird, okay? I don't think I have fully accepted the fact that I have finished. I don't think I will until I start my master's and then I'll have all those thoughts like, oh my god, 
I'm starting a master's, I am a postgrad student, like what the hell? <laughs> Sorry if this Q&A is a bit chaotic by the way. My mind is just, as you can tell, just not okay. I've just finished a degree and I just don't know where I'm at right now. So the next question is, what are your plans now that you've left uni? Plans. Um, one of my biggest plans um, when I finished uni, like one thing that was actually a massive motivation to finish my degree was actually you guys and YouTube. As you guys know, I took a one month hiatus off just to crack down and work on my assignments because I can't fully explain how long editing takes and that is the last thing you really should be doing when you're finishing your degree. I'm so happy I'm back. I have a hair on my lip. <sighs> I actually have a new posting schedule. It's every Tuesday as normal at the usual time at 6pm. Then it's every other Sunday at 6pm as well. Currently I'm testing the schedule out because I'm not entirely sure if it's sustainable. There have been a few times where there's been technical difficulties and that's meant that I've had to get a video up slightly later. There's also been days where like I've just needed a lot more time to edit because as I mentioned editing takes so long especially when you want to put as much effort into it as I do. This whole posting every Tuesday and every other Sunday is kind of like a trial period. Um, I'm testing it out for the summer because obviously I do have a lot more time than I did when I was in my degree but I still don't have loads of time. When I start my masters, I'm most definitely probably gonna um, revert back to once a week because doing an undergraduate degree with posting YouTube content every week was hard enough, let alone my masters. And I'm already anticipating it's gonna be a lot more intense. So yeah, but I obviously don't wanna sacrifice YouTube in the process because YouTube has become such a passion for me. Literally every single one of you guys that tunes in every week, I love you so, so, so much. Like. I am so appreciative of you. Whenever I get a lovely comment saying that my videos have helped or you love watching my stuff, you should see my face. Like I literally am just happy for the rest of the day. So I think a big plan of mine, or at least a goal of mine is to try and take some time off for myself. Just give myself a bit of a breather because I'm quite a productive person. And as I mentioned a second ago, I seem to throw myself into like every single opportunity I see. And sometimes that can be quite detrimental to my mental health it can just be very easy to burn out so I'm gonna try not to sign up to every single thing I want to do having said that though I have actually recently been approached by I think it's the student services team or like the wellbeing team at NTU um, I can't say too much at the moment because I don't actually have the full details myself but they have basically approached me with a paid opportunity I think it's like an internship but I'm actually getting paid for it it's gonna be for a few weeks I think they're gonna trial it and then if I want to do some more they'll obviously have me back and I'm going to be doing it over the summer just to get a bit more income and experience in before my masters because your girl is so broke at the moment like I've basically mentioned this all year that I don't have a student loan this year or anything and when I say it's been a struggle to finance myself this year I'm not kidding like um I do have obviously my part-time social media content creator role at NTU that's pretty much freelance so I haven't really had a stable income this year so this paid opportunity couldn't come quicker like I am so grateful of the team at NTU for approaching me with this. My next question is when is your graduation? I'm so excited for you girl. Oh thank you. I just whacked my elbow by the way as I did that. Ah. I've been told my graduation is the 25th of July. I am so excited. It's going to be a week after my 22nd birthday which I'm quite grateful for actually because a lot of the time graduations do run on my birthday and I was really hoping it would not be on my birthday because even though, don't get me wrong, I am really excited for graduation, I want to be able to celebrate my 22nd separately and from the looks of it, graduation ceremonies seem like they take up quite a bit of the day. So yeah, I got a few months, it's very, very exciting. I've actually just realised I need to get a few things sorted actually for my graduation, including measuring my head and I guess this. <laughs> I'm only 5'2 and the last thing I want is my gown trailing on the floor so I need to get measured and I'm pretty sure the deadline's next week so I need to sort that out. Way to go Gaia. Next question is will you come back to visit NTU anytime in the future? Definite, definite, definitely. Even though I have, don't get me wrong, had quite a roller coaster of NTU, namely my first year was particularly awful and didn't 
start me off on the right foot with NTU. Don't get me wrong, it's been hard, especially with the pandemic and having to, um, I guess, accept that my university experience wasn't gonna be what I thought it was gonna be. But I am literally gonna cry when graduation day comes. There is that massive part of me that doesn't wanna leave, even though I know it's time. I have considered coming back to NTU for my doctorate, um, just because I do love Nottingham as a city and I will always stay true to NTU. Oh, I just realized that rhymed. I've already said to the social media team and to the other staff members who are really sad to see me leave that your girl is not leaving yet. You know, you've got me all summer. You're gonna be sick of me by the end of it. And since my boyfriend Dan also lives in Nottingham, I will always be back. Next question is, when do you find out your results? I find out my results actually on the 15th of June. Scary. I think what makes it worse is the fact that actually the day that it comes out is the same day that my Harry Styles concert is going to be. So I, I've already had that dilemma with myself where I'm like, Gaia, you're going to be seeing Harry Styles. Are you really going to be wanting to open your final year results there knowing if you're disappointed, this could potentially ruin the concert. But alternatively, they're your undergraduate degree results. You're going to want to know what they are. I don't actually know what time they come out and I don't even know whether it actually like the whole degree classification, but I'm hoping to film my reaction to the results. Hopefully that doesn't backfire. <laughs> so yeah, my results are coming out next week and I'm not, like, yeah, I, that means they've been marked and they've probably already been logged. I don't think I'm ready. Like I've literally just finished my degree. I just, I don't want to know my results. <laughs> oh, the plan is though, I am going to go to the Harry Styles concert, enjoy said concert, and then the next day I'm going to open my results just so I can you know focus my energy into two different things. I am a massive Harry Styles fan. I have seen him several times thankfully and it's been a long two years waiting for this tour to come around you know it's been cancelled so many times. I even you know have a case of him. I love that man so much. I just want to go and enjoy the concert. I don't want to think about my results. I'm just gonna open them the next day. So yeah, next question is, what is something you would really like to try now that you didn't have time during uni? That is a hard one. That's what she said. <laughs> I guess the thing I'm thinking of isn't something I want to try for like the first time, but it's definitely something I want to get back to. And that is doing my driving lessons. <laughs> yeah, your girl can't drive. I did have driving lessons back when I was 15, 16, which I can't believe was seven years ago. Long story short, life just got in the way and I never carried on and then uni came and because of where Nottingham Trent is situated in the city and how like everywhere you can get to by you know like a simple 10 minute walk or bus or tram that at the time I didn't see the point bringing my car to university like I didn't see the point of passing and then just having it parked on a side road that I'd have to pay a permit for to then not really use because I can just walk everywhere. I feel like I'm gonna definitely be wanting to drive a lot more now that I'm in my postgrad. Everyone keeps me it's a life skill that you just need to have so I think one thing I'm gonna try and do this summer is get back to practicing hopefully I will pass in the summer or at least pass within the next year I did hear that there was a backlog due to COVID so fingers crossed I don't have to wait too long not gonna lie I'm a bit scared <laughs> I mean you should see me on Mario Kart some of my friends and family members have actually suggested I should vlog the whole experience of trying to learn to drive um, which I think is gonna be very interesting so yeah, stay tuned for some very questionable content this summer. Next question is, what job do you want when you're older? Love your vids. Oh, thank you. Oh, what job do I want? Part of the reason why I'm actually doing my masters is because I still don't really know what I want to do. It's quite funny because actually when I started my undergraduate journey, I was like, right, I have no idea what I want to do. I just know I want to do something in psychology and criminology, you know, since do a crime, I think. But I'm sure by the end of year three, I will know what I want to do. And here I am in fourth year and I still don't really know for certain what I want to do. I think I know a lot more but it's still very malleable at the moment. I definitely want to go into the field of criminal psychology and forensics. Don't get me wrong, I do want to help offenders but I don't really know if I could see myself as like a therapist if you know what I mean, like in the rehabilitation side of forensic psychology. Um, instead, I think I'd actually want to get in there and actually like use criminal psychology to help, I guess, solve crime. I don't want to be a police officer, like a probation officer, all those things. A lot of the time when I've told people that I want to be like a forensic psychologist that helps solve crime, they're like, oh, you should go into the police force. Have you ever considered being a police officer? But have you seen me? I mean, I don't think I'd be a very good police officer. I think I'm too small and I feel like 
I'm just not intimidating. I'm too clumsy as well. I feel like I wouldn't be very good at arresting someone or like tasering someone. So yeah, and the same thing with the prison officer thing. Like, I don't think I'd be very scary to the inmates. I'm literally so fascinated about how the mind works, especially like deviant and like disordered minds. Like I'm literally obsessed with true crime, but alternatively, I also am really interested in factors that influence crime. Like I find it so fascinating that geography can help tell you where a serial offender is going to offend next for example. So a dream job of mine would be to be like one of those criminal psychologists you see on TV where they come in and like they help solve the case. So yeah. <laughs> God I feel like I've just turned my nerd mode up to 100% talking about psychology and criminology but I just love it. I definitely want to find a job within those two disciplines that blend quite well. Next question is which university will you be going to in September, tell us. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people will probably assume that I've already chosen. I mean, you're probably watching this right now and you've been like, Gaia, you've literally only got a few months into your masters. Why haven't you decided? If you've been following me for the last few months, um, especially you'll know that I've had a few offers come through and honestly, I can't decide. I guess that's good that I have options, but it's hard because I feel like there's almost like pros and cons of every single university that I've looked at and have an offer from. At the moment, the options are between Cambridge, Bath and Portsmouth. I think a lot of people are thinking I'm going to Cambridge. There is that part of me that's like, oh, I don't know yet though. Like it would be amazing if I do go to Cambridge. But alternatively, there is that part of me that's like kind of pulling towards Bath and Portsmouth. Bath have a placement year, which I think would be so good for like work experience. Portsmouth, oh, don't get me started on Portsmouth. They have literally the best like master's course in my opinion. I think I've mentioned it in previous videos, but they actually give you the option to completely alter your whole like degree title that you will come out with at the end you know on your certificate depending on what modules you want to do and I just think that's so cool. I think especially since after doing psychology or criminology at Nottingham Trent University I realised that don't get me wrong you know the course was all right but it was very generic so this time when I go back into um, academia I think I want to do something a lot more specialized and I like that Portsmouth gives you that option but since I have only got a few months until I start I am gonna have to make the decision soon and oh, I don't I honestly don't know where I want to go all of the universities are amazing and all of them offer me different things it's almost like I want Cambridge's you know research department and location and reputation with Bath's location and placement year with Portsmouth's flexible course the next question is when do you start your masters so obviously this depends which university I choose to go to but all of them start around the end of September and October like most university courses I think for Cambridge and Bath it's like the first week of October whereas Portsmouth actually starts relatively early. I want to say the 19th of September but either way around that time it's going to be so nice to like return back to like lecture buildings and just like a bit of a normality because even though we obviously have already had a year of in-person teaching and things finally going back to normal it hasn't really been the case for myself because I haven't had classes this year. I've just been finishing my three remaining assignments and I haven't had to go into university if I haven't wanted to. Obviously I have chosen to you know use and use facilities as much as I can to get my money's worth out of it because even though I wasn't paying for any classes or accommodation I did have to pay quite a hefty administration fee so I've tried my best to get my money's worth this year by going into campus buildings and things but either way I still haven't had that full like university experience that you have when you are a student of classes. So regardless of when I start, I am super excited to start. I'm just so, so, so buzzing to be able to do that whole like move into university, unpack, you know, meet my course mates, meet my flatmates, do my room up all nice, do all those rite of passages that you have when you go to university. And it's almost like I definitely want to do those things even more justice this time because of the fact that my first year was literally the worst. I didn't get involved with university life as much which I wanted to in first year and that was for a range of reasons. If you would like to know those reasons you can go watch my first year review. I'll put it up there. By the way the lack of university experience wasn't because of NTU or anything it was just because of loads of things that were happening to me at first year like I just didn't have chance to truly get involved with what being a student truly is I guess. And the last question for today is a very exciting one. One that I'm very excited to answer. I feel like I say the word exciting so much. Not to go on a tangent, but when I've been editing a lot of my videos lately, I've noticed how much I say the word exciting when I'm describing something and I'm just like, Gaia, oh my god, you need a different adjective. Like, 
this is this is bad <laughs> but the final question is are you going to be filming moving in uni vlogs and packing videos yes i am yes i didn't start my youtube channel before first year unfortunately so i didn't really get to do like the proper moving to university vibe videos like the ones you know when someone is actually moving to university for the first time i did attempt to try and do those in second and third year but it wasn't really the same because i wasn't moving to university i was moving back to university so I'm definitely going to be doing those, all those pack with me's, things to take, things not to take, you know, things I wish I knew that I know now I've finished my degree. Trust me, you're going to see the return of some all-time favourites such as moving to university, my university room tour. I'm obviously going to be filming Freshers Week. That'll be really fun to film at your university and it will be also fun to see how it compares because Nottingham is known for its nightlife. I will miss the likes of Rock City and Ocean immensely and I don't think any other university city or town can top those places but I guess we'll see actually. So yeah, I guess you've got quite a lot of exciting videos lined up. I'm not gonna use the word excited, but I am uh, ecstatic. There we go. So yeah, if you aren't subscribed and you would love to see that, I definitely recommend clicking that subscribe button right now. And for those who are subscribers, I recommend making sure your post notifications are on for both my channel and YouTube itself so you do not miss those videos because trust me, I'm gonna be putting my heart and soul into those videos, like I can't wait. So I guess that rounds up the questions for today. I really hope you enjoyed this little sit down, chat with me, you know, life update now that I finish university. If you did, it literally mean the absolute world if you could go click that like button right now as i mentioned earlier it really helps my channel and if you're new here and you've got to the end of this video why not click that subscribe button as well but other than that i've been gaia this has been a life update of my life i guess now that uni's over i guess i have freedom but i'll see you next week for more content bye